First of four body scanners has arrived at Austin's airport. The new scanner is set up and ready to go at the middle checkpoint. Three more will be installed later this week. KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackleman joins us live from the airport to explain what's different about Austin's new machines. Reagan? Well, well, Robert, those other three body scanners are actually arriving here at the airport as I speak right now. If you take a look behind me, you'll see that 18-wheeler back there inside of those, those other three body scanners. Now, you might remember those first, the first generation of body scanners produced some somewhat revealing pictures, but the TSA says these new second generation scanners, those revealing pictures will be gone, and they say they should actually speed up the process. Bismillah Muhammad is fixing to make the short flight to Dallas. Had he been taking that trip just a few days later, there's a chance he would be going through Austin's first advanced imaging technology machine, also known as a body scanner. It seems like it's an invasion of privacy. Transportation Safety Administration says new software being used in Austin's machines should alleviate many privacy concerns. This is what TSA officers could see with the old X-ray based machines. This is what they'll see with the new machines. If the machine detects nothing, then the officer simply sees a green screen. Well, I think it's nice, you know, new technology make people feel more comfortable, but um, I, I think I would have gone through it either way. But even with the new machines, many still don't like the idea. I think they're fairly invasive. One thing, I don't know what the long-term effects of them are. The TSA says the new machines emit a thousand times less radiation than a typical cell phone. But some say that comes at a price. A study shows that the German government stopped using the new machines because they were inaccurate. But most travelers say they believe the machines will keep them safe when flying. I, I think they're fine. It doesn't seem to impede the process. It moves along fairly quickly and anything that's going to be safer. I'm good for it. And if you're not good for it, then a pat down could be waiting for you, and that's something Bismillah simply isn't willing to go through, meaning soon he'll have no choice but to go through the new scanners. I don't think I have a choice, unless I'm a drive. Now, the one machine that's already inside of the airport should be up and running in the next few days. The ones that are being unloaded right now, we're told, should be working sometime next week. Reporting live from ABIA, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.